Hey, one Tamriel. Duke from Tamriel here. With my first, uh, Somerset build. Uh, I'd like to call this build the Sigic Arches. Like, uh, I don't know if Arches is even a word, but I'm making it a word today. Anyways, uh, gear is as gear is as follows. I got a two-piece slime craw, five-piece griffin jack. Slime craw gives me spell and crit damage on the one piece and uh, minor berserk at all times, giving me an eight percent damage boost. I got a griffin's jack going here. It gives me critical on the two piece and on the three piece uh, weapon damage on the four piece and on the five piece after dealing direct damage gain minor force and minor expedition for your crit damage and your movement speed um, and spriggans to uh, give me some uh, max dam on the two and three piece uh, weapon damage on the four piece and penetration on the five piece on the rings, I am using uh, the weapon damage enchantment with infused, infused on two, so that gives me like, uh, what is that, uh, 550, I don't know, 550 something. And on the last one, I'm using protective just to get that extra, extra resist up because um, I just did a couple of duels with this guy, this is Sork, and. Uh, he wrecked me the first couple times, but he's been losing ever since, eh? Uh, just because I had to get used to how this build works. Um, I've got Nern Hone on the front bar with uh, Weapon Damage Glyph. And on the back, I've got uh, Magic Damage to Undead and Daedric, because there's like so many vampires in PvP. Also got it power to do some healing. Um... My first bar, my front bar, I'm using Crushing Weapon. Um, I'm thinking about switching this to the back bar and switching up Trap Beast. But, really, what's the point? Because I'm going to be flipping over to do the attacks anyways. I mean, it'll work when I go to my two-hand. But, uh, the front bar, I got Crushing Weapon for that extra physical bonus. Uh, and the 18% heal. Off this damage. Um, draining Shot. Uh, I like this as a CC and, and a little heal. Um, I sometimes switch this up with uh, what is it? Range? What is it here? Focus aim. Um, it's a single target CCC and a heal, so it's pretty good. Uh, bombard for my AOE CC. Um, I really love this fucking skill. I got bound armaments up. So while slotted, your max stamina is increased by 8%, and light attack damage is increased by 11%. Um, this this build is does a lot of uh, direct damage, so that's why I got this out. Um, yeah. And then Evil Hunter gives me some major savagery, and it cuts down the Fighter's Guild abilities if I ever be using one, which I am, with the Light Beast Trap. But, I mean, it's on the opposite bar, so it kind of negates it anyways. Uh, then I got Flawless Dawnbreaker. Um, I like this just for the weapon damage buff. It's also a good, uh, you know, shit's getting in your face and a little crowded area, blah, blah, blah. There's a couple, you know, or he's a dodgy motherfucker. Uh, this helps for that. The back bar, I got Lightweight Beast Trap. Just that range thing, like 41 meter range. I got Rally Up on this for my weapon damage and, you know, the, the burst heal. Wrecking Blow grants you Empower for 5 seconds, increasing the damage of your next light attack by 40%. And then Bound Armaments again, and of course the Dark Deal. And uh, the ult on this side, this back bar is Onslaught. Uh, I really love how it refunds the ultimate right away if you kill them. So it's good for a kill. Um, I 
I'm using a TriStat food. Uh, there's ones that will give you a little bit more, like 4,000s. Um, I just grabbed whatever was in the Sijig bag here. Um, in the uh, skill trees, I've got 10% uh, or 23 points in Warlord, 16 points in Sprinter. I got another 10% for uh, in their stam re or resource reduction for when I hit with a light attack, which I'm hitting a lot with, so it keeps them down. Uh, Mooncalf I got for 10% stam recovery. Uh, tenacity, obviously, for 10%, it's up to 43 points. Um, for the uh, recharging my resources with the heavy attacks. And healthy for health recovery. Um, tumbling, 10% reduction. Shade, 10% reduction. Over in the blue tree, I've got 20% uh, on the physical weapon damage for my light attacks and heavy attacks. I've got 20% in Master Arms for my direct damage. I've got 20% in Precise Strikes. 12% in Physical Bonus. And 45 points into um, Physical Penetration. And I threw my last, you know, uh, two points into Thaumaturge, just, you know, for the fuck of it. Here on the on the uh, the red tree, I've got 10% into Ironclad. I've got some points into physical and spell resistance because these these motherfuckers honestly are hitting hard in Cyrodiil. Um, right now I'm in the full CP, so I mean it's a little bit harder than I'm used to, but I'm getting the hang of it. 10% um, in thick skin, 10% in hardy, 10% in elemental defender. This, this, this tree is all really about uh, sustainability and not, you know, not dying. <laughs> Anyways, I got 10% damage reduction from light and heavy attacks. Uh, just because, like I said, there's going to be a shit done. I should, probably should have raised that up a little bit, maybe. But, you know, you got to spread the points around where you can. And also 10% in uh, healing received. Uh, you need it, trust me. Um, anything else about this build I can speak about? It's, um... It's not really a, a long-range archer attack base thing. I mean, I'm, like, I'm kind of a, a close quarters combat guy. So, it, it, it kind of plays up to my style of play a bit. But, like I said, you, you could change it up any, any way you want. Um... It's up to you, really. Let's quickly cover stats before I give her give her a rest. Uh, all my resources are pretty low. Um, I actually do fairly good on resources. Don't need them, especially with the uh, dark deal. Uh, but anyways, my weapon damage unbuffed is 34.95. Um, With just the rally, it goes up to 39, 36, and then when I proc the the weapon one, and yeah, it's it's uh, past the four thousands anyways. And my resistances are at 17 and a half k. My max stam is 33 k. Max health is 22 k, and Magicka is at uh, 13 and a half k. And these are serial stats. Um, I, like, I've always got. Major, well, not always up, but Minor Berserk is always up, and the Warrior Mundus. Uh, you can change that to your suit your style. Uh, same with the food, you can change that to suit your style as well. Um, pots, obviously, I'm using a, 
Tristat and uh, right now I'm using the survivors uh, it gives me invisibility and unstoppable which is which is awesome and a quick burst to health um, yeah that's the build that's the the Sigic, well maybe I won't call it the Sigic Arches but um, Yeah, it's, it's an archer, it's a sorceress archer.